Hello everybody, it's Guitar Knight back once again, playing some custom robos. Where we last left off, we just stopped Berkeley at the lab, and got ourselves hired by Steelheart. So, let's continue our journey. The reason why I'm up here is because there wasn't really enough time for me to get into here. So, let's give myself some low volume. And hopefully things will turn out okay today. That would actually kind of suck getting fired on the first day of work. Why is that even possible? Oh well. Well, I can't remember if I grabbed all the parts. No. Alright, that message will pop up if you don't have any parts, so keep that in mind. It's time for you to wake up. Basically, we hung criminals. Alrighty, back to the over map. Let's head off to our first destination. Don't forget to check in. I want the manpower to spend the long training you, so I need you to get up to speed quickly. Where's Marcia? <laughs> uh, good question. Who's Marcia? Looks like we'll get some fighting in today. Alright. He's gonna show us the way to the gym, which I don't think is gonna be that hard to point out. Although, then again, I have yet to see how some of the stuff even works. Alright, this is the training gym. This table is called a Holoseum deck. It is a machine to project a Holoseum. Some commanders, like me, can create their own Holoseums. Some can't. Just the way it is. Commanders who can't just use a Holoseum that's built into their custom robots. Or they use Holoseum decks like these to make one for them. Uh, more pointers. Oh yeah, I forgot to check if I turn these off. Oh, well. You'll probably notice this, but you can change the direction of the pod fire fires it. Tilt the control stick to aim where you want to shoot, and press the L button. If you don't tilt the control stick, he'll automatically fire in the direction your, of your opponent. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Alrighty. Here's Harry's custom robo. We already... I should probably fiddle around with my customization see if I got anything new. Alright, three ray gun. One of the better guns at the beginning of the game. It has more speed, more range, and more homing. It shoots more. I don't think I picked up any bombs. No. We'll switch back to standard for the time being. Can I get any lights? No. I don't think I get any body so later. No, okay. Harry, it's got the glory, a shiny fighting model. With the Gatling gun, this is dangerous. If, if an opponent has a Gatling gun, never go straight at him. Kind of do a drift to the side so 
his bullets don't hit you. Still shoot in rapid succession of 8 bullets and it will nail you and get you down fast. The Crescent Bomb. Uh, I don't think I've used this one. And then again, I'm going to try to show every part I can, but no promises. The Speed Pod. Uh, quick fire straight ahead can deploy two pods at once. So basically it'll go straight as fast as possible. And we basically know what the standard legs are. This all see him. It's a diamond fence. Basically, this is good for trying to strafe around the corners. So let's start up. I'll demonstrate if you don't do anything. <laughs> if you don't do anything, it goes like that. That's... Wow, this is gonna... Okay, come on. Yeah, that's the good thing about the 3-ray gun right there, as just shown. You can... it fires in three... kind of a linear path, but if you're lucky enough, you can... kind of shoot it. Like that. You can get around the walls. And that's the Gatling gun right there. <laughs> okay, go on. Right now we're not really ranked on how we do in terms of battle, so we're kind of we can go as bad as we can go. <laughs> Namely because we don't have a lot of opportunities to use different weapons, so hopefully it'll turn out better. Ah, a new part, standard bomb S. Hopefully it'll be better than what we got. And don't forget to check the part generator. Here's just a reminder to go grab your parts after everything single thing. Um Hopefully things will turn out okay. I'm going to Uh Yeah, I better go grab the part. This is gonna become repetitive, so don't know if I'm gonna cut grabbing the parts all the time. You become vulnerable after you fire a gun. Use the slide shot to cover this. Basically, that's what I call strafing. If you press the B button while moving, you can fire your gun while sliding in that direction. If you use this skill properly, you can shoot while moving behind a wall for cover. So basically, if you want to try to avoid somebody's shot and shoot at the same time, you want to kind of run along, hit the B button, and then It'll fire as you try to hide behind a wall as you continue. But it doesn't go forever. Ah, crud, another Gatling. But a new Robo. Alright, where's the bomb? Standard S. Features basic functions, fires straight towards target. Now, here's the difference. Uh. Quickly mobilizes. Launch as often as possible so your opponent cannot hide behind walls. Okay, I don't think this one arcs like the other one did, so. Alright. A Pergreen. A little right raider model. Extremely agile while on ground. Poor defense and allows foes to knock it down easily. Okay. There's some pros and cons about this one. The pro is that you go down fast, you don't get hurt as much. The con is, is that you're going down much faster, and you won't be able to hit as much. So it's kind of a... depends if you got a strong enough weapon. But with Gatling Gun, it kind of helps out with that. He's got a standard bomb, which we were using a couple seconds ago. Cockroaches. 
Normally flies slowly, but quickly increases its speed when it spots its target, so it's a homing type. And then the ground. Decreases jump vulnerability, which is good for this guy because he moves much faster on the ground. It enables sharp turning while on ground and in air, but decreases jump height. So he's going to make more sharper turns. And I think the hull will see him for this one. High Rise Plaza. Let's do this. If you guys aren't liking the, uh, how I explain all the parts, you can just leave it in the comments if you want. Because I'm always open for destructive criticism. See, I'm barely doing any damage to him. So, this is the pro of the, uh... Oh, it does arc. So, this is the pro of it. And with the ground shoes, it becomes a very hard to hit. But the con is that he's going down, he's not going to be able to get in as many hits. So this battle will go on for a bit. See, so just one straight bullet connect, knock him down, so he doesn't have a lot of that. But judging from what he's got, he's probably got a good decent defense. But it doesn't help much <laughs> if he's knocked, getting knocked down. Okay. Could have had a perfect too. Oh well. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I'm going now. Come on. It's almost down. Dang it. Got him! Actually, wait, I don't think I got him. I, got, I think he got blown up by his own bomb. Oh well. Hopefully it will turn out better next time. But for now, this has been Giratorian Height, playing Custom Robos. Join me next time when we continue through the Crane Gym. Till then, take care.